Have patrol pick up Mrs. Pass. Sorry guys, my connection is so bad. I have to do it. All right, the next time that it happens to me, the from the from my connection, I will put um for example, GTA 5 part 24 half one or half two. I don't know, man. All right. So I give you a hit and run. You bring me back fraud, conspiracy, and first degree murder. This is how a good detective operates, Phelps. You take nothing at face value. You keep digging and asking questions until you get to the truth. You got some sharp elbows on you, detective. I like that. Keep up the good work. So that nigga got stabbed and he got and he got run over by the same damn time. Damn. People are being so stupid, but you see why I have to arrest all these people. So going to jail. A slip of the tongue. Ah, oh, shit. Slip on the tongue. Oh fuck no. Captain Gordon oh, and Liber. B cop says he located a green Kaiser Fraser from the hot sheet. Address is six West Second Street. Get over there, see what you can find out. Yes, sir. Go on. Sorry to inconvenience you. Oh shit, sorry. We're on it, Captain. All right. All right, Captain. We're gonna do our job and no fucking I screaming again. I swear, the nigga. more bent cars we bring in, the longer the hot sheet gets. It pays the rent, though. Keeps Mrs. Phelps in the manner to which she's accustomed. I'm not sure she'd agree with you. Oh shit, I went the wrong way. Passionate Luke. romantic type like you, Cole. God damn it. I don't believe it. Okay, matter of fact, let me drive to this one. I wanna drive. It's a long time I never fucking drive it. Seriously? <laughs> fucking bitch! What? Bruh! Come on! It fucking moves. We're calling her the Dahlia now. Wonder what Veronica Lake makes of that one. What a case. Can I change my damn fucking thing, dude? Static. No. You hear whether they're making how any progress? How do you say? Oh my god, I forgot how you sent your clothes. Well, Captain Donnelly seems to think they have it all wrapped up. Brown and Green are sweating this manly character. I heard it'll be in front of a grand jury by next week. Bitch. You're a goddamn menace. Poor thing. Terrible enough being murdered like that without having to strewn all over the front pages. We're here. Skirt! Skirt! Needs to be here. What do we got? That's the car, Cole. Just pulling out of the drive. Get him. Remember, we need him healthy enough to answer questions. 1247, Detective Phelps requesting immediate backup in pursuit of a stolen green Kaiser Fraser from 6 West 2nd Street. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Oh, what? Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. Oh, shit. Maybe I was a couple miles over the speed limit. Hands behind your head. Get bracelets on himself. Why did you run from us? I saw a big car in my rearview mirror with two tough guys bearing down on me. What would you do? What's your name? Cliff Harrison. You're under arrest. For what? What are you talking about? Nice try. I'm talking about the car being stolen. You're out of your mind. 
I bought the car, and I've got the paperwork to prove it. I cannot read this handwriting, dude. Seriously. My goodness. Two, what? Total two hundred forty-five. Wow. Looks like we'll have some questions for the people at Coombs Automotive. Sorry, dude. You purchased this car from Coombs Automotive Company. Yeah, that's right. And the ownership papers? From the same place. If this is a forgery, it's top notch. This will need to be traced. You have a criminal record, Mr. Harrison? No, nothing like that. You better give us something, Cliff, or we're gonna make this hard on you. I didn't steal the car. I ran because, because I've got some wacky backy in the glove compartment. How much, Cliff? One reefer. We'll let it slide. You're in enough trouble. <laughs> Who did you deal with at Coombs Automotive? The owner, Richard Coombs. And he made out the bill of sale personally? Of course he did. He kept a facsimile for his records. Check with him. We're going to get to the bottom of this, Harrison. Until we do, you're going downtown. You gotta be kidding me. I'm getting arrested for buying a goddamn car? If everything is legit, Harrison, you'll be out soon. Until then, if I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut. Bag his possessions as evidence and have him arranged for Grand Theft Auto. Right, Detective. What you the- You know who my father is? Bruh. We need to get to Coombs Auto and check out Harrison's story. <sighs> Don't fucking honk on me, okay, people? Bro. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. You know what? I think he's telling the truth. Some of the most convincing people you will ever listen to are born liars. Usually they're called politicians. Another step. I have got a Buick Century sedan that would be absolutely perfect for you. Detective Phelps, LAPD, are you the owner? That's right. Richard Coombs, at your service. You looking to trade in a black and white, boys? <laughs> Mr. Coombs, we're investigating an auto theft. A man by the name of Cliff Harrison claims he bought the car here. Well, uh, some people would say that my cars are a steal. That's a joke, son. Very amusing, Mr. Cook. I remember Harrison. It was a green two-tone Kaiser Fraser, if I remember rightly. Do you have the bill of sale? It's in my office. Walk this way. What the fuck is wrong with him? That's a joke too, son. Mm. Phelps, you mind if I shoot this guy? He's getting on my nerves. Yes, please. Shoot him. Please, I beg. Shoot this nigga. Here it is. Got the original pink slip there, too. Jane Archers. That's not right. Address. Trust. 
Gene Archer, 146 North Fremont Avenue. Oh, I know. Oh, my God. I know this shit. The subject's the woman. I may think I remember. Or I might be wrong. I don't know. Because I did it. I did this in my other house. Okay. Check the next paper. Cliff Emerson. Harrison's purchase receipt was legit, at least. We have a couple of questions. All right, fellas. Shoot. For the love of God, do not, me, uh, do not make me mad. Can you tell us how you came to buy the car? Girl just wandered in right off the street. Oh, my God. Fuck! You need <laughs> God damn it! I'm so, oh my god, dude, I'm seriously, I'm so bad at this shit, for real. I'm so trash at it, bro. Fuck. Fucking bitch. God damn it, bro. Fuck, I hate this shit, man, because... What if, what if I need, there needs to be a fucking lie in this shit? Oh my god, I'm so bad at this shit. I have to look at him, man. But when I look at him... He might be telling the truth or Not maybe a lie. Step. I have got a Buick Century sedan that would be absolutely perfect for you. Oh, I'll Detective thank Phelps, you. LAPD, are you the owner? That's right. Richard Coombs, at your service. You looking to trade in a black and white, boys? <laughs> Mr. Coombs, we're investigating an auto theft. A man by the name of Cliff Harrison claims he bought the car here. Well, uh, some people would say that my cars are a steal. That's a joke, son. Very amusing, Mr. Coon. I remember Harrison. It was a green two-tone Kaiser Fraser, if I remember rightly. Do you have the bill of sale? It's in my office. Walk this way. Niggas being stupid. That's a joke too, son. Phelps, you mind if I shoot this guy? He's getting on my nerves. You guys do. I remember. Oh yeah, I remember. <laughs> No, I remember. There you go. There you go. <laughs> All right. Here it is. Got the original pink slip there, too. Archer, 146 North Fremont Avenue. Oh my! Bro, it was the fucking good cop. I don't know, I'm just, I'm bad guessing people, man, alright? Don't fucking judge me, guys. Fuck. Harrison's purchase receipt was legit, at least. All right. We have a couple of questions. All right, fellas. Shoot. Can you tell us how you came to buy the car? Girl just wandered in right off the street. All right. Nothing unusual about the car. 
Not really my usual type of vehicle. The price was certainly right, though. Nice girl, but about as sharp as a bag of wet mice. Did you pay with check or cash? A check. She wanted it made out to cash, but I insisted. Man has to watch his cash flow. What name? I made it out to Gene Archer on the Bank of Arcadia. Mm. Can you describe this Gene Archer? Brunette, maybe 25, 26. Little on the plump side, but not bone ugly. Bruh. What was your impression of her? Kind of harried and harassed. In a hurry to go somewhere, but no place to go. You get to know the type. All right. Do you know anything about the company that prints these pink slips? Nope. Should I? It isn't exactly my business. Stop lying. These pink slips are leading us to something oh my big, God. It's time to stop being cute. <laughs> Fuck, come I'm back. going to assume you're having a bad day, son. I sell cars, not paper. Damn, okay, sorry. When exactly did you hand over the check, Mr. Combs? Close of play on Friday. He doesn't remember at all, man. I can tell his face. He, he might be lying. Wait, hold on a minute, man. Oh my god, he might be lying, I don't know. I think you paid her in cash. This bogus check means that you can claim against your business insurance. I don't know, he might wrong. be lying. You got some way of proving that, Sonny? Let me see, because, oh my god. Wait. What? Bruh, oh my god. Yeah, you shut the fuck up, man. I don't know. Oh my fucking god, I don't get this one wrong. Fuck. You know that's a damn good idea. I'll have to keep that in mind. Fuck Meanwhile, you. Are we done here? Fuck you, you fucking piece of shit. This was all above board. Yes, of course it was. Oh my god, I will get this wrong, wrong again. Oh, no. Did this look legitimate to you, Coombs? I'm in used cars, son. Not bear bonds. In my business, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Now don't come on all high and mighty with me if you want my help. Thanks for your help, Mr. Coombs. We need to continue the investigation. Hope you sort out your problem with Mr. Harrison. Go easy on him, son. Boy's about as sharp as a bowling ball. He's built too low. The fastballs fly over his head. What the fuck is this guy? Please? You have a pleasant day, Mr. Combs. Oh my fucking god. Just shoot him, bro. Come on. He's so fucking annoying. Seriously. Oh, shit. Well, Harrison might be off the hook, but we can still run an APB on Gene Archer. Get on the horn and call nope. it. Nope. No. Nope. Yes. Let me call the damn fucking police shit. Run, nigga, run. Fucking bitch. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How could I help, Detective? I need a fucking location. Requesting an APB on Gene Archer, age approximately 25, on suspicion of Grand Theft Auto. I'll relay the Grand Theft Auto 5. <laughs> I need an address on a marquee printing company. Marquee printing company, sure. Just a moment. Aliso Street, near San Pedro. Are there any messages for me? A James Velasco is being held at Central Station on suspicion of GTA. Possible link to the Harrison case. They're waiting on you to conduct the interview. Thank you. Who the fuck is that? Nigga, close that shit up. <laughs> Let me see. Alright, now I got three more places to go. Oh my goodness, this is be a fucking funniest shit ever. You drive, bitch. You know the way. You can drive. Here's a chicken and egg question for you. Do you think you have to be an asshole to sell cars? Or that selling cars turns you into an asshole? You've got it in for everyone today, haven't you? I've always got it in for car salesmen. It doesn't matter what day it is. And why do they always think they're comedians when they're about as funny as a heart attack? Maybe the more annoying they are, the quicker you sign on the dotted line. Just to get the hell out of there.
Yo, there's a game that, that I want to like to play, but I need, you need to drive like for real life. And you, the police give you a ticket just to drive fast or slow. Oh, it's closed. Fucking bitch. Empty. Should have known that Archer Broad would have given us a false address. We should go to the station, see what this Belasco guy has to say. Oh no, oh my god, no. And what can I do for you gentlemen? I'm a traffic detective from Central Division. Who's in charge here? I am, Gordon Lightfall. What's this about? We understand that your company prints California vehicle titles. Yes, I have the government contract to print pink slips. I've done for some years. Have you had any goods or equipment stolen recently? We're running up against stolen cars with seemingly legitimate paperwork. Not recently. Have you ruled out forgery? There's no shortage of talented artists in this town. We'll keep it in mind. This doesn't pertain to the case. Oh. Out and in. Fucking bitch. Hi, damn it. Wait, 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 can I go in here? Mm, yes, I can. Why can I go inside the fucking building? Oh my fucking god. Alright, there's nothing here. We all then. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Fucking bitch. Can you drive to this one? Send your jail, send your police station. Detectives, Belasco is prepped and ready in two. Another stolen car with legit papers. Thanks. Another stolen car? Are you fucking serious? Where do I have to go? In here? Secret rooms. No, oh my god, I forgot where I need to go. Wait, what is this? Crummy bastard. James Belasco? I want a lawyer. It's my car and I got the proof right here. Take a look for yourself. Oh my fucking god. James Belasco. Address. 156 North from Street of a downtown. James Belasco. I need the car. The paper is real enough, Belasco, but the car isn't yours. <laughs> yeah. Somebody say, the, uh, where's the car? I need a car name. Where were you taking the car, James? Blow it off, Greenhorn. You'll get nothing from me. Bish, fuck you. You're a two-time loser. If you don't give me something, I'm gonna ask the DA for the maximum. You're looking at ten years, Belasco. Kiss your youth goodbye. <laughs> I, I want a deal. 
Keep talking and we'll see what sort of deal you're worth. My job is to drive the cars out of state. Nevada, Arizona, sometimes New Mexico. With the paperwork they provide, it's normally a breeze. Does the name Jean Archer mean anything to you? Nope. Never heard of her. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You're a liar, James. I knew it. <laughs> Say that again. I'm telling the truth. I don't know the broad. You don't know her. Are you serious? If I give you wait 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 nah my this one I don't know as soon as you get tired of this copper you let me know fuck you what happens to the cars once they cross over the state lines I don't know I just deliver them give me something Velasco. Or I'll take you back to the cells and tell the whole station you're a child molester. How long do you think you'll last? Okay, okay. I hear you. The cars get sold in Chicago or back east. Sometimes I bring back cars coming the other way. Where do you pick up the cars, Velasco? Warehouses. Mainly in East downtown. Come on, Velasco. Fuck! You must have an address. That's not the way they work. Oh my fucking god. I hate this stupid shit. Mm. Fucking pay. I don't know what the fuck I pay. The, the first one was a backup. The second one, I don't know what it is. The third one was a backup. And the fourth one, I don't know. Oh my fucking god. I hate this shit. Fucking bitch. Spinari says I'll sing, but only if I guarantee he walk. Crummy. James Belasco? I want a lawyer. It's my car and I got the proof right here. Take a look for yourself. Now your car. The paper is real enough, Belasco, but the car isn't yours. This pink slip is a forgery. Oh, Chevrolet Stradlet. I don't know how the fuck you say. Oh. I didn't see this part. Well, whatever. All right, motherfucker. Where were you taking the car, James? Blow it off, Greenhorn. You'll get nothing from me. All right, fuck you then, bitch. You're a two-time loser. If you don't give me something, I'm going to ask the DA for the maximum. You're looking at ten years, Belasco. Kiss your youth goodbye. I, I want a deal. Keep talking, and we'll see what sort of deal you're worth. My job is to drive the cars out of state. Nevada, Arizona, sometimes New Mexico. With the paperwork they provide, it's normally a breeze. Does the name Jean Archer mean anything to you? Nope. Never heard of her. Yeah, 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 yeah. You won't. Oh my god. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna do something very quickly. The first one is a bad cop, the second one might be a good cop or be a liar. Let's check this shit out. I just wanna see. Wait. Wait, 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 hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Gene Archer is the one. Fucking bitch, god damn it. No, he's lying. He, she, she knows she saw her. It might be a lie. Now they have to do this shit again. James Belasco? I want a lawyer. 
It's my car and I got Fuck the your right lawyer. Here. Take a look You'll get yourself. no shit lawyer. Fuck you. is real enough, Belasco, but the car isn't yours. This pink slip is a forgery. Where were you taking the car, Jane? Blow it off, Greenhorn. You'll get nothing from me. You're a two-time loser. If you don't give me something, I'm gonna ask the DA for the maximum. You're looking at ten years, Belasco. Kiss your youth goodbye. I want a deal. Keep talking and we'll see what sort of deal you're worth. My job is to drive the cars out of state. Nevada, Arizona, sometimes New Mexico. With the paperwork they provide, it's normally a breeze. Does the name Gene Archer mean okay. anything to you? heard of her. Lie. You're a liar, James. Say that again. I'm telling the truth. I don't know the broad. Okay, I need to think here for a minute, guys. Give me a minute. Oh, my. So that's that why you both have the same address printed on your pink slip. Yeah. She's a mule for these stolen vehicles, genius. Same yes. as you. Jesus. All right, I know her. Stupidest broad I ever met. Always cooking up crazy schemes. I don't know why those guys use her. You happy now? Yeah, I'm happy now, bitch. What happens to the cars once they cross over the state line? I don't know. I just deliver them. Well, fuck you. Give me something, Velasco. Or I'll take you back to the cells and tell the whole station you're a child molester. How long do you think you'll last? Okay, okay. I hear you. My me not. The cars get sold in Chicago or back east. Sometimes I bring back cars coming the other way. Where do you pick up the cars, Velasco? Warehouses. Mainly in these downtown. Nah. <laughs> no, sir. You're lying, Velasco. You steal the cars yourself and then provide them to the ring. It might be a fit. I'd like to see you prove that, copper. Fuck you. They'll call me a copy, piece of shit. Fake address. What? I'm actually a wheel man. I know nothing about cars except how to drive them. Whatever. I don't want to answer any more dumb questions. All right, James. We're going to check if this information is worth anything. And if it is, I need your help here, pal. If it is, then we'll know you're a man of your word. And so will the DA. You're Phelps, right? Yes, I am. Look, can we do this later? I'm in the middle of it. Ray Pinker. I'm with Technical Services. The pink slips are all real. Yes, we know that. There's only one company that prints them in California. The Marquee Printing Company. They've confirmed that the numbers are legitimate. You've checked them out? Sure. They're on Aliso Street, near the corner of San Pedro. The guy I spoke to was Lightball. Gordon Lightball. Here, I wrote it down. Thanks, Ray. This is a great lead. We'll get down there as soon as we can. Phelps, your GTA suspect, Gene Archer? Spotted by a patrolman. Western Union office, 253 South Hill. Less than a minute away down the street if you run. Go! She won't hang around. Okay, 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 okay. I don't give a fuck. I'm just taking this car, man. I don't have time. Let's go. Excuse me, I don't care. Excuse Try me. Try making it to the next intersection without killing anybody. Can you do that for me? <laughs> oh, 
water. But I'm LAPD. Not for the conversation. We'll take it from here. God damn it. Everyone's against me. Look, just let me get my money and get out of here, okay? You look sweet. How about giving a girl a break? I could be very nice. I'm no, I can't do that, Miss Archer. Stefan, call for black and white. Just my luck to get the only hair sure cop in the LAPD. The car you sold to Coombs was stolen, Miss Archer. There won't be any money. I handed over all the right paperwork when I sold it, Buster. Gene, you've blown open the whole operation because you were dumb enough to try to sell one of the cars. What do you think they're going to do to you? Give me something. I was just doing what they do. They pay me 50 bucks to drive the car. I made two grand selling it. You made zero. And if they catch you, you're dead. Is that all your life's worth? Look, a girl needs things. I don't see you looking out for me. How long have you and Belasco been delivering cars? Who is James Belasco? You're lying. James Belasco. I don't remember mentioning his first name, Miss Archer. Oh, I... Well, I think you did, didn't you? Well, I'm sure of it. Anyway, I don't know him. You free each other, you don't know him. You aren't sharp enough to lie to me, Gene. You and James Belasco share the same address on your pink slips. We have him in a cell. Okay, so I know the creep. The pink slips are real. The home addresses are always vacant lots. Bigelow is always boasting that the paperwork is legit and that if we stick to our stories... And don't try and sell the car? Yeah, that too. Tell me where you picked up the car, Miss Archer. Look, I, I can't remember. Let me go, will you? Please. What have I got to do? I'm trying my patience here, Gene. I'll have the reporters down here and have your picture in all the papers. You'll have nowhere to run. All right, already. I get the message. I pick up the cars from a guy named Bigelow. 58 Industrial Street. Big warehouse full of goons. Now, you've got what you want. Can I go? Please? No, you sure can. We've got a car waiting outside for you. Some career advice, Gene. Get out of crime. Marry someone boring who has money and will find you captivating. Is this guy for real? He takes a little getting used to. But yeah, he generally means what he says. Sam's taking me out of the poems. You can drive. Good friendly girl. Used to getting her own way. Little did she know her feminine charms were useless against the impenetrable Cole Phelps. She's not my type. And what is your type, Phelps? I'm married. I know that. But you're not blind or dead inside, are you? Wait. Scrap that second half of the question. Uh, I don't know. Blondes, I guess. Hallelujah! The man is human after all. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. Yep, I'm with you on the blondes. Brunettes are fine too. And there's nothing wrong with a good redhead. <laughs> but I draw the line at gray. You know what? I might have to lift that embargo soon in the interest of maintaining a free market. A man with high standards. My standards are only as high as the last glass of whiskey. What the fuck? Oh my god, these people are crazy. What the fuck? Oh my god, these people are crazy as fuck. You're under arrest, bitch. Hands up. We have some questions for you, Mr. Lightball. Damn, nigga called Lightball. Mr. Lightval, we're currently working two auto theft cases. Do you know anything about a car theft ring? Uh, certainly not. Why would I get mixed up in a thing like that? Oh my goodness, he's, he's lying. Oh, he's not lying. 
We have suspects with legitimate pink slips that were printed here, Lightfall. You better give me something before I bring the whole department down here. Don't be hysterical, detective. As a matter of fact, we had a similar problem a couple of years ago. A number of used car lots were selling blank documents to a criminal organization. Do the names Cliff Harrison and James Belasco mean anything to you? No, they do not. Harrison bought his car from Coombs. The pink slip looks good, and that points the finger here. Do you have any employee trouble? No, I don't. They've all been carefully screened. Look, now that I think about it, the name Coombs sounds familiar. I think they may have been involved in stolen documents in the past. Do you have a delivery ledger, Mr. Lightfall? We would like to cross-check against the Coombs Automotive Emporium. It's a little out of the ordinary, Detective. Uh, I'm not sure I can share those sorts of records. Hand it over, Lightfall. You don't want us having bad thoughts about you, do you? Very well. But this really is irregular. Over here. I'm so good. Look for patterns, recurring names, unusual addresses, anything out of the ordinary. James Palasco. Let me see. James Palasco. There's no one here. What the fuck? Well, I'm looking. You certainly encourage repeat business. What? This Mr. Bigelow is a good customer. Oh my god! Sorry to bother you, sir. We'll let you know if there are any developments. What? First try is gas. Can I see this, this truck? Yes, I can. No, 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 no. We actually taking the truck. Can I get out? No, I can't. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Look at this damn car. You're behind the wheel. Oh my god. So everything that this this guy said, it was all the bad cop. That music is creepy for me, bro. I don't know. That that music is creepy. What do we have here? Maybe we should call for a couple of black and whites. We can flash her down here. I thought you Marines were gung ho, Cole. You have a 45. Don't you ever want to use it? I'll take the back. Just give me a few seconds to get around there. In the fucking hell. Cole Phelps, LAPD. All of you are coming downtown with me. Out the guns. Pretty brave. Huh? 
had machine gun boots. Let's clear the top floor. I don't want to get drilled in the back on the way out. Stay down. Try the door at the end. I heard something. All right, all right, don't shoot. Keep your hands up. Watch him, Bukowski. He doesn't move until I've tossed this place. Okay. Boy, Pally. What the fuck? Mm. Very interesting. Fake IDs, all that shit. Look at that. Fake license, not license, but fake paper, uh, paperwork, all of that. Marquee Printing Company. <laughs> There's nothing like going direct to the source. All right. The fuck is this? Loose. A betting slip. Looks like Mr. Lightfall has been on a losing streak. Wow. There are enough slips here to keep them stealing cars till Christmas. We've got a trail of pink slips and stolen cars that leads right to your door, Bigelow. You're in this up to your neck. But well, I'm guys, I have to go. Peace charge. out. No, I don't.